Hey guys, your buddy Icarus here with a new face. This Hi. is my this is my friend Blazing Confetti, and he decided he wanted to join me for the Last Door, one a game that one of my nieces has been requesting basically any time I ask. But I've already played this game, so 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 to allow a fresh fresh perspective on it. I'm bringing him, and rather than me playing, I'm gonna let him play, and I'm basically just gonna be here as a human walkthrough. Oh man, you didn't tell me I have to play the game. <laughs> Do you want me to narrate too? I, if you want to narrate, I mean, it's your channel. <laughs> After all the things I've seen. Alright, so this is point and click, right? Yep, yeah, point and click. I, I see this rope, and rope's always handy, so you know. <laughs> yeah. This. After all the things I've done. Oh, it's a chair. Yep. You found a chair. Uh, and oh, a I, I see. And a rafter. I, I see where we're going <laughs> from here. My life was on a course that I can't escape from. Oh, hey, look at that. We're just gonna it's climb. It's too late for me now. <laughs> right, right? We're just, we're just climbing up. We're not doing anything else. Yeah, the ominous text between panels doesn't, doesn't mean anything. Well, I mean, we. Yeah, I mean, there's no other options here. <laughs> yeah, this is the prologue. You're not into the actual game itself yet. I just hope you could forgive me someday. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, don't do it. Yours sincerely, Anthony Beechworth. Oh, nope, you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not a happy sight here, but this game doesn't have a lot of happy in it. In fact, if I recall correctly, it doesn't have any happy in it. I think we're off to a lovely start. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, credits. Which, you know, kind of ingenious to put the credits first rather than after so people don't just skip the credits. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I like the credits later because then we don't get this situation of unskippable credits. I think you might still be able to skip the credits by clicking. Oh, yeah. Skip oh, button. Hot. Pops up right in the middle of it. Beautiful. October 1891. Now to the character you actually play as who isn't going to kill himself. Oh, okay. <laughs> first character not relevant, obviously. Oh no, the whole first chapter is about that first character. It's just you're 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 analyzing the mystery of his death in, in the first chapter. Oh, okay. Yep. So we're a detective. No, we're just a, we're just a well-meaning friend who hasn't heard who heard who got a letter. Yeah, I can't read that. <laughs> It's Latin. I don't know what it means in Latin, but it's Latin. That's the only thing my dear old friend Anthony Beechworth wrote to me in his letter. It had been many years since I last heard that sentence. It used to be the motto of the uh, science and philosophy group that we secretly ran back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. We left it all behind, like a simple childhood memories. What was unusual, the letter could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Something that must remain absolutely secret, so I have to figure it out. <laughs> Without delay, I took my first morning train to Sussex to the address of the letter. And there it was, the old home of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Mansion. I bet you can't tell where the game takes place. I bet it's in a mansion. <laughs> I bet it's in Resident Evil 1. <laughs> Chapter 1, The Letter. So all I could think of when you were reading, when you were taking the pauses before I clicked, was that episode of Game Grumps where they do that. <laughs> yeah, ideally the text in a game would be split up in a way that it's... The fields surrounding the house stretch majestically as far as the eye can see. I didn't know Anthony was the owner of such properties. But you knew he lived in a mansion. <laughs> Everything the light touches belonged to Anthony. <laughs> I love this. Crows. Right, right here, this is beautiful. Murder of crows is eagerly eating something. Murder of crows eagerly murdering something? It's just rubbish. A group of crows is actually called a murder. Yeah. And I like that. I know, because murders murder things. See, Kiersey is much more enthusiastic about the fact that a group of pugs is called a crumble. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. <laughs> it's locked from the inside. That, that's why you kick it. You might have to use the front door. 
Oh, front doors are boring, especially when they're already open. <laughs> this is weird. Everything is silent. Like, there's no one living here. Well, there's no one living. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. Okay, but you're gonna find some guy hanging in the attic. I mean... Yeah. A grandfather clock. It's the only sound around here. Other than, the, you know, the crows outside. What if the mouse runs up the clock? Then it strikes one. <laughs> A letter! A note on the table. Dear Mr. Beechworth, due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us. And, much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. <clears throat> We will remain forever grateful for all these years at your service. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. So that's like when the... The, the servants? Yeah. Yeah. Now, poor Anthony, get this older than I expected. I mean, didn't you know the guy? I think that... He's immediately surprised by everything about his friend. The... Well, this is a point-and-click adventure. Everything's surprising. A gramophone! It looks rusty. That's a piece of technology I've never seen in my lifetime. A stuffed deer head. A drinks cabinet with glasses, some crystal bottles, and a matchbox. Sounds like Molotov cocktails in a good time. <laughs> <laughs> there was something. I just saw it. There. There's a fireplace. Looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a long time. That's because the maids quit. Ten bucks, I'll clean it for him. A large window is wide open, letting the cold dusk air in. Well, you saw Sussex being mentioned, so this is in Britain, so it's not but dollars, it's... Pounds? Pounds, euros, pounds, because yeah. they broke out of it. Yeah. It's, it's pounds and, um... Uh, yeah. Pence! Oh, yeah, uh, there you go. <laughs> a landscape painting. Is it of a landscape? Because a landscape painting of a landscape is just so appropriate. A crooked painting! Whoa. There's something up with that painting. It's too different from the others. <laughs> Yeah, that second landscape paint is actually square. Yeah. And just, just so you guys know, I have no clue where I'm going or anything. I'm literally just clicking on everything because that's what I stoves do. and a cleaning cloth. You want that cloth, don't you? I do. <laughs> Plates and pans. Can, can I take that? I think so. Yes, I can. Give me that. <laughs> Does this cloth smell like chloroform to you? <laughs> plate with some days old leftovers. How many days? Because I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> A variety of cooking ingredients. Again, kind of hungry. You eat raw ingredients? It depends on the ingredient. Unlock the door. I didn't know it was locked in the first place. Hey, it's that one that was locked from the inside when you were outside. So can, now I, can I totally just clean these? No. You cannot clean crows that are ravenously eating something. Maybe they'll clean up the mess wait, after they're done, wait, but... Wait, wait, can I, can I take a closer look? No, nah, the lens is just forcing you to look rather than a grab on things that have yet to grab. Oh, okay. Yep. Can I, can I go yep. this way? Yep, click and walk. Long hallway. Oh, gotcha. Or, or a short walk down a long hallway, like death row. Or a long walk down a short hallway. That... Isn't that what I said? Oh, I said short, that way wrong. Short walk down a long hallway. Yeah. Small plant brings some life to this otherwise dead place. Shouldn't a plant be dying too, though? Eh, yeah, it'll probably die eventually. Unless it's a Christmas cactus, those things last forever. A bedroom? I want this. A lamp, it may come in handy. I, I, I know, that's why I want it. But it's probably out of oil. Some toiletries! What's this? And it's a ladder. March 5th, 1991. Master made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I found a place to hide my rosary. I can't pray every night without it. May 18th, 1891. Master has been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I can't let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyways, I'm worried about the Master. He's throwing more and more growing more and more unlike himself every day. September 15th, 1881. Mr. Beechworth is spending a whole day locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. 
Okay, so we had to get rid of a cat and empty bowl if we want to use to feed a pet. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was gonna be a bad man. <laughs> Window <laughs> open. What? Hey. Window will say open. Looks like the wood is giving out. Okay, I was gonna say. You need some sort of cord to keep it open. Why? Can't, can't I just like break a piece off of this, this coat hanger right here and just shove it in there? Yes, probably the. There's a tiny dark hole in the wall. Yeah, well, I want the hole. Can you shove the lid? Yeah. It's not lit. <laughs> First instinct is always just shove your arm in a hole in the wall. <laughs> you can't see what's in there. <laughs> I'd do it. <laughs> Actually, wait, wait. Don't go through the door yet. Oh, it's, it's padlocked. Okay, don't go through the door then. <laughs> yeah, you kind of have to be a ghost to go through the door. Or to break the door. I, or to mess with the crooked painting, I don't know. I mean, he said something about match a matchbook in the, the kitchen, right? No. No, because no, I saw a matchbook was in the fire was in the room with the fireplace. Yeah, that that's and the room. For, I don't know why there's matches in the liquor cabinet, but only these matches could be useful. <laughs> <laughs> you now have a lit lamp. Who needs oil when you've got matches? <laughs> can, I, can I go in the dark hole now? I'm gonna put the lamp in here. It's a, it's a tiny dark hole, it's not... Okay, you kind of stick the lamp in the dark hole. Oh, I can't use it on the doorway either, apparently. <laughs> well, what's a lamp gonna do to a, door, to a doorway? Can I just... Burn down the house. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't just burn down the one door, it would probably burn down the entire house. Or, or here. On the one painting that's not a landscape, even though this Hello, you might be able to knock it over or something just by clicking it, I don't know. Oh, right, it's got a hand on it. Huh? So some things change when you... But now it's crooked the other way. Well, you gotta fix it! Oh. I guess You fixed so. it! <laughs> you found a rosary! Okay, take the rosary. Now we light the rosary and <laughs> I mean, I am blazing confetti. <laughs> She just want to light everything on fire. Oh wait, I have an excellent idea. Lighting the crows on fire. Oh man, you know me too well. <laughs> it's not gonna do it, but I want to do it. <laughs> no. What about the lamp? Can I just throw the lamp? No. <laughs> so the rosary is a very evil and it'll <laughs> ward them away. <laughs> you just don't want that thing in your inventory any longer than it has to be done. Huh? Oh, I don't care about the rosary. <laughs> it can be. Oh right, hey. We can Fireplace, right? I don't need to live the fireplace. Shut you up. can, but you don't need to, so the game won't let you. <laughs> Shut up, I do what I want. <laughs> well, I mean, there's still parts of the house you haven't checked out. Yeah, we do have to go upstairs. And you've got you've even got a lamp in case the lights aren't on upstairs. I bet the lights aren't on upstairs. Oh, how'd you guess? <laughs> I look a missing portrait on the wall. Okay, that's not that's not a significant missing portrait apparently. I know there is a significant missing portrait somewhere. It won't open! <laughs> no. What's this? A vase. Nothing important. An expensive vase, you know, nothing important. All this fancy art, nothing important. A boarded up door, nothing important. No way I could set the house on fire, there must be a thing. <laughs> Apparently he does not share your love of fire. Looks like some of the paintings are missing. Well, obviously, we noticed that before we reached that painting. Right. What about this door? Yay, a door that'll open into can, a bedroom. Can I do this fireplace? You can light that fireplace. Or, is it going to tell you, I don't need to light up the fireplace, okay. So you can, but you don't have to, so I won't light you. A gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. Well, I mean, that's not Anthony, because you already did family portraits. No, we don't need those. <laughs> This might consist of me trying to light a lot of things on fire, by the way. <laughs> a double bed. It's covered in dust. Seems like no one has slept here for days. I could sleep there right now, and then it would have to change. Then you'd be removing the dust from the dusty bed. It worked hard to build up that dust. It's, it's locked with a key. Key? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, matches are not keys. Windows. Windows are hiding from me. <laughs> if you 
Please watch your bottle water, don't ya? Window leads to a balcony that communicates with the adjacent room. Can we open the window and go to the adjacent room? I can't open the latch, it's stuck. Perhaps I can force it with a small tool. This is a small tool. <laughs> <laughs> I have this rag, I can just start dusting the house, right? When he comes back, he'll just pay me. <laughs> when he comes back from, you know, the attic where he's hung. Some of the paintings are missing. Well, yeah. None of these are important, though, because they're not landscapes. They got looted. This place got looted. Is there, like, a way behind the stairs that I can go? No. Okay, no. So... Explored the gist of everything that's available. Gotta be. But there's, there's gotta be something. Is that, is that, well, that's a hat I just put there. Okay. No. Well, now you've got some items that haven't been used. What haven't I used and where? Well, his solution for the window was. A cord to, to oh, tie yeah, it open. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I get, I get it. Um, oh, yep. Before the door that you wanted to go through was a ghost. Somebody called Danny Phantom. <laughs> This, but I don't necessarily have it hundred percent memorized, so I don't know if I might not remember the solution to some puzzles. I mean, just saying, if I were cat food, I'd be in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, but the cat food doesn't necessarily have to be actual cat cat food. It could just be a mouse or find somewhere. Oh, you mean or leftovers or I mean, it's not a big enough hole in the wall for the whole person to fit in. He could stick his arm. In. I'm not that, but I don't think the game will let you blindly stick your arm in the hole. Why? What am I gonna do? Get rabies from some rats? Yes, you'll get rabies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I already got rid of the rosary. <laughs> are you? Are you can do? No. Yeah, I think you gotta lure the rat out somehow, but. I where am I supposed to get some cheese? There's no cheese in the kitchen. Unless it lets me take the leftovers. Have I tried clicking on this? Some toilet toilet trees. trees. Okay, apparently the mirror counts as some toilet trees. Yeah. Seems a bit odd to me. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get lost really easily, guys. Don't worry. You mean we aren't already? I, I mean it's... Hey, a large window is wide open, letting cold dusk air in. Oh, oh, you can interact with the gramophone. There's no record. Well, where are we getting a record from? Lose it to deer, do you have a record? Can I clean anything? Clean the fireplace? Clean the fireplace would be useless. Well, fine. Be that way. Gotta be a thumb. The next, the next solution is actually the record for that gramophone. I just forgot where the record was. It's somewhere over the rainbow, apparently. This door was locked. Or yeah. stuck. Or... You need some kind of small tool to get through the window to climb across to the balcony to that room. I still feel like the windows are that. Yeah. We didn't need the cross, we just needed the and, a, and the character as a tool, you just have a small one. I'm gonna tell you that cleaning is useless again. Yeah, cleaning is useless! 
Uh, what about the table by the bed? Is there something on that? A silver key! Oh, hi. There's a key in front of Game of three dots does not make a key. <laughs> hey, pixel art may be a little difficult to decipher sometimes, but not impossible. The key doesn't fit that long. Oh, fine. Well, maybe the padlock downstairs, but... But... told you about two locks so far, because that door just is so yeah, it's locked. I still see burning doors down is a totally legitimate way to get into the doors. But the rest of the mansion would burn with it. Oh. Mystery solved. Well, yeah, you probably would be able to find the body amidst the rubble. Once it's done smoldering. Or while it's smoldering, if you really want to burn yourself. I mean, we just have to take the TARDIS into the future and have the bones examined and stuff, right? No, we are not. I, well, you may be Doctor Who fan, but I am not Doctor Who fan. <laughs> oh, I love it down here. Yeah, this is dank, dark, deep. A slate record called Carnival of Venice. I'll take that. Like something's gonna jump out and murder me. Oh, hey, I need this firewood, please. It's firewood. <laughs> Starting a fire in the basement will just burn the house down. Boiler looks like it's been out of use for some time. Can, can I, can the I thing start the boiler? Mean... Possibly, but there's a thing leaning against the boiler. I think. Unless this is part of the boiler, that thing leaning against it. Yeah, it just says... A oh, crowbar! Hey, that, that's pretty useful. I think a crowbar is a small tool, right? Yeah, that might be able to open that window. Maybe I can pry the boards off that boarded up door, too. One of those two options. If I have a crowbar, I'm just going to hit the window. I'm not going to pry it off. Press it on the record, a new crowbar. There's the gramophone in the living room. In the living room. With the first fireplace that it told you there's no reason to light, even though you have matches. And what else are you going to do with matches? Now, there's a record on the gramophone. Fantastic! Let's play it. That sounds awful. <laughs> the music stopped abruptly. Something's gonna kill me. Okay, that one actually caught me by surprise. <laughs> I knew I you got friends. Do something. Okay, now we're just gonna take the matches and we're just gonna. No, you cannot. You cannot. You cannot cook crow. Anyway, I'm just gonna go now, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna take this crowbar upstairs now. But now the crows aren't outside anymore, so you can walk past them and see what they're eating. If you want, if you want to do that too. You know just how to tempt me. <laughs> yes, they, tempting you with the dead body. <laughs> I bet they were eating the cat. There's still a single dying crow if it's the pool of blood. Damn it. <laughs> hey now, oh, we, we like we like clean language here. <laughs> sorry. Can I have this? Oh, I can have this crow. <laughs> okay, can we do this now? <laughs> I don't want. Why don't you want to burn the crow? No point in cleaning his wounds. It doesn't have much time left. I don't want to walk back through this way because that requires the living room. Well, not if you're not going upstairs or to another part of the. I'm definitely going upstairs with the dead crow. <laughs> not dead, dying. It's still gonna make these noises eventually. Everyone's watching. Right, it's going to call for all of its comrades and they're going to come murder me shortly. Well, it would be poetic justice, murdered by a murder of crows. Well, I'm not sure if I call it justice, but poet. I didn't even do anything. Okay. Leave me alone. For God's sake, what happened here? Use the crow on the lady. Lifeless body of a woman that's been here for a few days. I don't trust lifeless bodies. Looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. 
Writing what will surely be my final thoughts. My last lines. My last breath. I don't know what kind of dark power has turned my husband into what he is now. A stranger with a look of bereft a look bereft of all sanity, compassion, and human warmth. I don't know that that shadow that slowly darkened our lives. I don't know this foreign host that now dwell in our souls. I don't know Oops, sorry. <laughs> I will meet my brothers and sisters uh, soon. I will be free from the abyss of madness and fear. Soon I'll stop trembling. Oh, she dropped a thing. What is that? A hairpin. I mean, you can just pick it up and tell me that. What was that? That was me getting a text message from someone interrupting. Oh, okay. Hey, Reverend Cow. A letter. Dear Margaret, it's been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at night. Our servants left a few days ago. Without their help and care, I'm lost. I can barely walk out of bed. Not even the doctor would come here after the, his argument with Anthony. He has developed this horrible ability to break anyone's will. I don't know what to do. I don't have any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter. I, your dear friend. Oh, maybe the dead woman is the dear friend, not the... Yeah. Do, do we but then why would she be in the... You don't have to read all the letters if you don't want. A letter in people handwriting. Can't go on. All is lost. Okay, that one wasn't so bad. Yeah. Let's do the short one. A diary page. Oh, this is gonna be a bit. Oh, no. I can't stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I'm not worthy of this family. Who are they but dust and bones? A memory. Leave me. I don't need you. Leave me alone. And the crow sits on the door top and screams nevermore. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing of interest in this dressing table. Can I have wheelchair? <laughs> Wheel wheelchair races, right? The writing on the walls reads, Leave me alone. Who could have written such a thing? And seemingly in blood. Or red paint. I don't know. Okay, we just gonna go through here. <laughs> With your dying crow companion. Look, all the portraits that someone took down. Can you do some? Don't want to see a hairpin of the crow. <laughs> An adult woman. She looks really pale. A young Anthony. Just like I remember him. Woman holding a baby. He looks happy. Happy, happy. An old, severe looking man. His case that settles me. A teenage girl. She has a sad face. Don't see me. You can just tell someone your face is sad. <laughs> Porter Anthony with some stuffed lynx. It looks like he's very proud of his valued animal. The paint looks fresher around the lion's head. Wait, it's a lynx's head. Yeah. So they added fresh paint to that portrait, you're saying. There's a crow behind the window. It looks like it's trying to get in. Nope, no. <laughs> you're this dying friend in your pocket. We're just not gonna let that crow in. <laughs> Here's <laughs> dying friend in your pocket. Part of me wants to go downstairs and throw the dying crow at the rest of the crows, but part of me also doesn't want to die. Oh, hey, where'd the... Okay, you broke the crow bone. Can we, can we do this? You can hairpin the window open. Okay. I managed to open the latch. Hey, look, it's the light. Hey, it's the stuffed lynx. It looks like the one in Anthony's portrait. I just don't solve everything. <laughs> I mean, that depends on your view. <laughs> A few handwritten notes. The goddamn cat. He knows every night, and it's for me. I know it. He's mocking me. How oh, he knows my secret. He knows. I won't let him ruin everything. I don't. I don't have any choice. I have to. I'm uh, <laughs> sorry, my finger does. Gabby, Gabby, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. If you want to read the letters, pause the video, I guess. Yeah, some sort of spilled chemical product. I'll try not to click past most of the letters. Remains of chemical experiments. A can of thinner. Can that. the cloth with paint. Smelling chloroform beer. You're not trying to chloroform a crow, it's already dying. <laughs> Some strange books, they're written in a language I don't know. Latin, maybe? Well, not Latin, you come from a boarding school where you learned it. 
the common hammer. Good for hitting crows. It's hammer time. <laughs> Some torn out pages. It won't bother me anymore. I'm done with their censorious gaze and their whispers. It's all ready. There's only one thing left to do. I'd rather not kill it like that. It's dying and suffering, <laughs> and you are a mean person. <laughs> yeah. I unlocked the door. I'm kind of afraid. Let's do this one. Well, the adjacent room to the part of that hallway that. So it's one of the two doors you can get through in that one other hallway. Probably gonna get the hallway. Reinforced metal trap door. I can't open it from here. You said there's a golden triangle, so apparently we need the Triforce to get in. But Link isn't in this game. Okay, okay, I guess the only place I'm gonna go now that I have a dead crow hammer and some ink in a rag is, um... <laughs> Oh, no, they're gone. That's Guess they didn't miss their friend that much. That's actually like... <laughs> better leave it alone and call crows last time. <laughs> I don't want to. Last time Crow got in. <laughs> but what do we do with a freaking. What the? Well, this is what was paint thinner, and there was fresh paint around that one leaks. His mouth and the painting. That'd be a good boy. <laughs> Why would there be fresh paint if everyone's dead? Maybe he painted it up before he killed himself. And so it's fresher than the rest of the painting, but not just like all that super fresh. I'm super fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Fre just fancy fresh. Yeah. No. No, the one on the painting. Yes, Crow, we know you're still dying. Give us an update later. Hey, could you just, could you just die? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you asked what you were gonna do with the wet with the paint rather than what you're gonna do with the you know dying crow and making noise. No, it's not important, it's my buddy. He's your buddy. <laughs> the has work. The fresh paint around the Lynx's head is gone, and now see the original painting. The lynx is different. His mouth is open as if it were growling. Interesting. That's it? Yeah, that's really it. It's a clue about the stuff. Like, like, oh, it's one uh, of that those. You, that you have to do this before you do this. Yep. I have a feeling I'm going to encounter more crows is your dying crow friend going to help you with the links or with the other crows? That's a good idea. Wait, the dying crow could be cat food. <laughs> yes, it could. Oh, they're shut. Open the mouth then. I'm pretty sure you could open it. Put the crow in its mouth? Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go... Go feed the cat? Yeah. Where is that? Where is that? No, that was the... I wonder if he'd used the rosary to open the window. Yeah, but I don't remember which door that was. It was downstairs. Yes, Kessler, long hallway. With all the landscape paintings. Oh, yeah. even, even though one of them wasn't a landscape painting, it was a square painting, it was called a landscape painting. Maybe it was a square painting of some landscapes. That is the best answer I could accept for that. Yes, it is. Okay. I sure that'll be why. So, Darth Mom has just told us that there's gonna be an army of small people. <laughs> she wasn't aware we were recording, but she just told me that. We are going to be graced by the, the presences of six small humans. We might record a video with them later. 
So I'm gonna put this dead crow in here and I'm gonna be like, hey, kitty cat. Okay, can I hit it now? <laughs> nah, the cat likes his food alive, I guess. So I guess this is a leave comeback thing. It might be a leave, go further away, comeback thing. The window is fixed. I wouldn't quite. The crow is in the bowl. The food is in the bowl. Well, at least he's not annoying. Yeah. Poor pro friend. Let's come back down here because this wasn't creepy at all. <laughs> yeah, I could I, I could comfortably live down here. Can I fix this? <laughs> and so the cat eventually has to be like, oh hey, those are the sounds of my dinner. <laughs> yeah, eventually. So don't know how far away or what room you have to go to to trigger the. Hey! Cat's in the hole. Where'd the crow go? I hear a cat meowing in the distance. Kitty, I love you. There's a trail of blood from the bowl that hole in the wall. Can I stick my hand in now? That would be nice, but. No, instead, you have to find out where the meowing is coming from. Those are some pretty haunting meows. If that hole leads down, where could the kitty cat have gone? Oh, right. So we just, <laughs> we literally just went down there, came back up, and have to go back down there, okay? The cat's meow is louder here. I'm gonna get mauled by a rabid cat. Meow. Are you stuck in the boiler, kitty? <laughs> No, I don't see any blood around the boiler. The boiler looks like it's been out of use for some time. Hey, there's something special about that part of the wall. The cat seems to be meowing from behind the wall. Of course, they hit it with a hammer. Maybe a rock will fall on the cat. On top of the chest is a black cat. His eyes are missing. Good God. He's almost ripped my eyes out. He's run to the darkness. Well, at least there's a murder cat running around to murder the murder There's an open crows. chest with a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. I want all of that. That sounds like it. Only this knife can be useful. Well, of course, only okay. the knife can be useful. So just gonna... okay. <laughs> you cannot use the knife on self. <laughs> like I said, your character does not commit suicide for this. <laughs> well, now that we have a knife, we can safely murder all murders, right? <laughs> You're protected from that cat, I guess. But I don't want to kill the cat. He's a blind old <laughs> kitty that just wants to eat the crows for me. <laughs> you can protect yourself from the crows and then give them to the cat. I mean, yeah, that right. <laughs> okay, so now that we have a knife, we can do something. Can we cut the wings? Mouth open? Maybe. Maybe you tell it like to open your mouth or I cut you. <laughs> They're like, we want to go back and check on our buddy. Who, <laughs> you know, went missing and came cat food. Door won't open. Stab it. Huh? It's too big to force the lock. I mean, that's how Sam Fisher does things in Splinter Cell, right? Never played Splinter Cell. You shove the knife in the door and just... <laughs> Why would you want to stab a dead lady? It's the same concept as putting it in your body. <laughs> oh, oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. Okay, legs, open up or I cut you. I managed to get the lick from Malcolm, but the tongue has been removed. It's a golden key instead. Hey, I know where that goes. Right? Found oh, him. look. Oh, God, no. Anthony, no! <laughs> okay. Just making sure. Lifeless body of my dear friend. Put the chair back under him. There's a sealed letter in his pocket. Dear Jay DeVitt, If you are reading these lines, then I am nothing but a dead body hanging before you. 
I write you in my last shreds of lucidity. You can't possibly know how pleased I am in knowing that you arrived on time. You are one of my oldest friends, and when I sent you the letter asking you to come here, I didn't doubt for one moment that you would. Had you failed me this night, everything would be lost. I have found myself involved in a series of horrible incidents. A series of unfortunate events? Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> For reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I have become a total stranger to myself and to my closest relatives, capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. I can't give you any more details now. I must ask you to immediately go immediately back to the boarding school where we made that pact, where we all said that sentence that would always protect us, and swore with our honor before the other members. This letter must not reach anyone else, so I'd like you to destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group and yours are in great danger. Do not delay. They are already waiting for you. Seeing is believing, David. Don't forget it. Always your little friend, Anthony Beechworth. Well, the door is possibly not being. Burn the house down now. Now I can. <laughs> He said destroy it, so... <laughs> so burn the letter and the house and the crows? Yes. That solves the whole problem, right? <laughs> yeah, so that was chapter one of The Last Door. Uh, we might take a brief break and just go right on to chapter two or save that for another day, but either way... I'm, I'm okay with taking a break, like getting something to drink <laughs> and continuing if you want. Yeah, we can, we can probably do that. For now, we're going to close that one off since we did finish this. Have a nice day, everybody. Bye.